Hey everybody, Luxinda Swirl here. We are going to do a resin project today. We are going to make a bowl. Freeform bowl, except, well, freeform modified. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the setup. As you know, once I get my gear on to do the resin, I won't be talking anymore. I want to explain everything a little first, quickly as possible. I'm going to make, we're going to, we're going to make our, uh, bowl in here. This is just, this is a, a silicone cake pan. It has a diameter of about nine and a half inches. Um, it is silicone. I couldn't put the resin directly into the pan uh, and it would not stick, but that's not what I need at this point. I need to be able to pull it out before it has set up. So I've lined the pan with a sheet of plastic um, so we'll pull the whole thing out of the pan using the plastic and we will drape it over this bowl that I have sitting on a, another container just to hold it up off the table. So we'll pull the plastic with the resin on it out of the, the cake pan and we will drape it over the bowl and we will end up with a bowl once it has set up. So, that's the essence of what I'm doing. I'm going to use the color blue, because I have a lot of blues right now. So I'm going to use a blue called Sailboat Blue for one color. In another cup, with just a little resin in it, I am going to put in this glitter. It's called Kiss Me at Midnight, and it is from yourglitterdealer.com. And, okay, I calculated that I need approximately between four and five ounces of resin to fill this space. Um, so I'm going to make up six ounces just to make sure I have enough. I do a, a little bit in the blue and a little bit with the glitter and the rest will stay clear and we'll see what kind of bowl we end up with. So I'll get in my gear now and we will we will get going.
Hey everybody, we're back. <clears throat> it's been about four hours since you saw me do all the pouring and fiddling with the resin. Um, it is uh, still pliable, but the resin is not moving around anymore, so this is a good time for us to attempt putting it over the bowl and draping it to that shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this a little bit, bring the bowl into the screen and do the drape. I should be wearing my gloves. I'm not because I'm trying not to touch anything that's resiny, but I'm, I'm touching it anyway. <laughs> Accidentally. Okay. Just move this over here a bit. Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do is put this in here. I like, I like, this is the top of a cheese box I got for five bucks at a flea market. Eventually I'll probably paint it or something, but Right now it's serving as this very useful tray so I can move things around and uh, take them off my work table if I want to do something else. Okay, so, all right, let's try it again here. There, are we all in, in frame? Okay. I'm going to pull this out carefully-ish. The plastic will not stick to the silicone, but it, it's a little... It likes to it likes to hang on to it. It's not stuck to it. But I also don't want to get it stuck to itself here. So there we go. So there is our freeform bowl. Whoops. 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 Okay. And now I'm going to drape it, and then position it. Over the side, and get it all drapey like I want. Okay, that looks pretty good. Everybody's hanging down. It looks to be about even from side to side, front to back. All right. And, I'm, oh, and stuck to me. I'm going to go wash my hands, get all this resin off. Um, I am going to recover this. Okay, I'm going to recover this now. Here, there we go. We will be back tomorrow to check on it. There we go. Hey, everybody. We're back. Let's see how our bowl is doing this morning. Oh, it's still there. That's a good sign. Nice and hard. Not sticky. Not tacky. Totally, totally cured. Oh, no, that's not true. It's dry. It will be cured in three days. Here's what happens next. See, our bowl is still inside. So we are going to pull the bowl out. Voila! And now we are going to remove the plastic. See? Peels right out. Well, except for this one place where it got pinched. There we go. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is our brand new bowl. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Nice and sparkly. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I can get a better shot. Hang on, we'll go in for a close-up. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Look at that. I am so pleased with how this turned out. It's beautiful. Whoops. There we go. It does show every little crinkle from the plastic, but you know what? That's okay. It's on the inside. The outside is beautiful. I would say my only Criticism in general is that the blue that I had hoped would be centered in the bottom isn't quite. I'm missing a little over here on this side, but honestly, given that resin usually does what it wants no matter what I want, I am extremely happy with this. Let's look at the other side. Here we go. It is so beautiful and sparkly. Oh, I just absolutely love it.
I love this new glitter too. That is gorgeous. A link, I'm putting links for every single thing I used in this video down in the description. Okay, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy. See you in the next video.